a new theory to explain the dark matter. One of the wonders of physics is dark matter, which some scientists were believed would never be solved because of the lack of signs of its solvability. Scientists proposed dark matter theory when they realized that there is a great difference between the calculated mass of galaxies by their gravitational effects and the observable mass of galaxies. To clarify, could compare the gravitational force between the Sun and Earth and the gravitational force between the black hole in the center of the Milky Way and Sun. Newtonian gravitational force is equal to Now we calculate the gravitational force between the Sun and Earth by this formula. The gravitational force between the Sun and black hole in the center of the Milky Way also equals to Comparing these two forces, realize that gravitational force between the Earth and the Sun is much greater than the Sun and a black hole in the center of the Milky Way. Hence, the second force in galaxies is required to prevent their collapse. To justify this observation, physicists presented theories in this field. One of the most important was the mystery of dark matter. It exists everywhere but does not occupy space, passes through all matters, does not emit any light beam, and interacts with other objects only through gravity. Therefore, it can only be discovered by gravitational effects. But despite all these definitions and limitations, the existence of this material has not yet been formally proved. It is notable which it makes up about 27% of the mass and energy of the entire universe and is one of the largest unanswered questions of current physics. Solar theory presents a new description of the cause of galaxies, survival, and instead of believing in the dark matter that has none of the primary properties of the matter, it points to the existence of a force that has all properties of a force with a specified source. The world revolves around itself and if we assume the current radius of the universe to be 10 to the power of 24 kilometers, And in calculating its velocity, if we use the rule of displacement over the time of a period and assume that one-tenth of the lifetime as a period of rotation, we will reach very, very high velocities. That this wall is rotating with such a very, very high velocity and as a result of this velocity and rotation, a spiral centripetal force is created and all parts of this world are affected by it which is the beginning of the creation of black holes and galaxies To better understanding, consider the tornado. Air has a low density, 
but when a tornado is formed due to the high rotational speed of the tornado, it can lift the truck with a high density, and due to the centrifugal force, the truck is pulled towards the center of the tornado. In the universe, because of the high speed of rotation, a centrifugal force which is called vivid force or dark matter is created, and this force causes objects in the universe to come closer. Note that the definition of a dark matter that passes through everything and is everywhere is actually a definition of a force. The vivid force or dark matter.